During the Coffee with the Birds live stream event on January 15, 2022, while watching this amazing encounter with a pileated woodpecker at her suet feeder, a very unfortunate event occurred. This video documents the window strike injury, care for, and release of a common red pole. Shortly, you'll hear the window strike that occurred when something flushed all the birds from the feeder at once. Let's join in as I'm describing the female pileated woodpecker we were watching. So it's the female, it means it has kind of a grayish forehead. Oh, oh. come on. Oh, oh no. It's a red pole. Wow. I'm gonna go out and pick it up and put it in the timeout box. He's down here. It is the red pole. Oh. I'll be right back in. It's alive, thankfully. Common red pole. Proof positive we've got a common red pole uh, at our feeders. You can see the red on the cap and the yellow bill. What I do when a bird hits the window like this, I'll put it in a shoe box with some paper towel and put it in a dark, quiet room and uh, be listening for it to be scratching around. Um, and when you hear, when you hear it, then uh, you can take it outside, open up the box and see if he flies away. It gives him, a, it's a timeout box. <laughs> I'm gonna just go wide angle here for a minute. I'm gonna go put him in his timeout box. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna turn the camera on myself here a second. There we go. So, oh, we got Rick on the camera now. <laughs> We've got a young birder here who this, he was here with Hudsonville Christian on Tuesday and saw one of these at the feeder. So he came back today with his dad and uh, is enjoying the birds at the feeder and uh, get to see a common red pole. Yeah, real like, close, huh? Yeah, real close. What's your name again? Tyler. Tyler. So Kyler from Hudsonville Christian came back after the program today, uh, this week and uh, is here uh, participating in Coffee with the Birds. And now you get to see it up close. So let's hold the best for the, okay. for the red pole. And what I do is I've got this, this box and I put some paper towel in there. Got a little hole there for breathing. <laughs> and so I can see inside. That's kind of a nice added bonus. But I'll just put it in here and then just put the cover on it and leave it in a nice dark quiet place for it to recover for a while and then uh, check on it later and, and let it go and if I let it go uh, hopefully I can let it go that means it's still living I'll try to get that on video so you all can see too I'm gonna find a warm place hopefully release a living bird here the common red pole that hit the uh, window earlier but I'm gonna check in on him He's still in there, he's still alive, but he's probably not fully recovered yet. So he doesn't look like he's quite ready. So I'm going to put the cover back on, bring him back, back in, and uh, give him a little bit more time. I'm going to give it another shot to release this bird. He's still resting comfortably. I'm gonna see if it just needs a little bit of coaxing. Well, oh, maybe. Gonna go, buddy? He looked like he might be ready, but just not willing. There's a difference between ready and willing, and I think you might be ready, but you're not willing. Well, why don't we put you back in the box? Well, well, are you gonna flutter and go? Oh, there it goes. 
it's on the ground over here. I'm a little bit concerned for it that it's not fully recovered. There it goes. Nice to see a happy ending to that story and maybe we'll be on the lookout for a red pole visiting our feeders that has just a little nick out of its beak and that'll be our, our friend that gave us an up close look. Hope he gives a full recovery. A few days later, I saw and filmed this red pole at our feeders. Was this our rescued red pole? I'd certainly like to think so. Thanks so much for watching. For more information and resources on Coffee with the Birds, birding in Ottawa County, and a link to the website for the Wildlife Rehab Center in Grand Rapids, which includes information on caring for injured wildlife, you can visit our website at www.miottawa.org birding.